Hey y'all, David here, and just a quick update. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video with my face on it, and you had to miss me terribly, I know it. Maybe not. I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing with the Book of Revelation, just give you an update on that, and then talk about this just for a little bit, not a review. But in the past, when I've been completing the audio Bible, I waited till the whole album was done, and then I released, bam, the big, humongous book on YouTube. And so if it was a bunch of tracks, it was a bunch of tracks to upload. And I did it that way with the instrumental albums. I might still do it that way, but it'll depend on how it goes for the book of Revelation. And so I'm in the middle of finishing up some stuff, still recording some parts to the book of Revelation. And so instead of releasing everything all at once on YouTube, I'm just going as tracks are actually available in order. And so I'll be putting Revelation 2 and 3 up, the epistles of Jesus. In the next couple days, that one will be ready. And then when it's all completed, then it will be available for download at Bandcamp, at forloveoftheword.bandcamp.com. So that's what I'm doing this time, because I'm going to see how it goes. Because normally when I post it, I don't get as many hits on the middle of the Bible, because people might listen to it for a little bit or the first track or the second track and then jump to the last track or something and so this way it's released a little bit more slowly as I'm continuing to finish and work on all the different projects so that's what's going on with Revelation and then it's just been crazy here and my wife had the camera with her in Florida for a week and so I wasn't able to record so I got a lot of audio Bible stuff done and anyway, so that's what's going on. And then uh, the last thing, Allie got me the Canterbury Overboard for Father's Day. So it's cowhide, but it's uh, hardcover to read from. Same exact uh, edition, the Canterbury I've been reading from. But I wanted to try this one with recording the audio Bible because it stays flat and I can one hand it and not have to deal with the curly pages, which I love in my own private time but I wanted to give this a shot with recording some. So I'm going to record some of Revelation with this, and then I'm going to do a review on it. Look at those long little ribbons on it. But uh, anyway, I was excited to get this for Father's Day, so thank you to my wife, Allie, for this edition. I know I already like the format because I switched to that format about a year ago for reading it, and so it's been great to read from. But as far as the outward cover, this one's a little bit less expensive but it's still just as nice. It's just a different type of genre cover thing going on. And so I love it. I'll, I'll look more at it later and might have some more thoughts on it, especially after I read from it for the audio Bible. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the f Revelation chapter one that I released and the song that I put up under the Prayer Room Moments playlist. Uh, that was just an unrehearsed, spontaneous in the moment. My wife singing and I got to be on bass that night, and that was probably one of my most fun bass jams ever, getting to play with her on that one. And so, anyway, I know I hadn't been around much the last few weeks, but just wanted to say, hey, that's what's going on with Revelation, and I'll see you in a little bit with looking more at this. And that is all. Revelation 2 and 3 again will be released here soon so I will see you guys some other time thanks for watching this update update update